two stroke diesel engine these are the components i have written here this is the basic line diagram and the <coughs> diesel engine lot of components are there so first of all we, we must know what is the use of the two stroke engine on board the ship the two stroke diesel engine is mostly used for the propulsion purpose okay this engine is used for the propulsion purpose the propeller of the ship is rotated with the help of the two stroke diesel engine the propeller is connected to the tail shaft by in connection with the intermediate shaft and crank shaft so there are three shafts are connected tail shaft intermediate shaft and crank shaft of the main engine you can call it main shaft also so main shaft is connected to the intermediate intermediate connected to the tail shaft and the propeller is mounted on the tail shaft so this engine is used for the propulsion purpose we must know what are the components are used in this engine and what are the functions of these components so we are going from top to bottom what are the components basics we must know okay so here this is the line diagram we will start from the top the first one is the rocker arm so the use of the rocker arm is to operate the exhaust valve in the two stroke engine the rocker arm is operated by the push rod push rod is here you can see from here to here is the push rod okay so rocker arm is operated by the push rod the push rod is operated by the cam shaft this is the cam shaft is here so cam shaft operates the push rod and push rod operates the rocker arm and rocker arm operates the exhaust valve of the engine okay so these all things are interconnected so how the cam shaft is rotated the cam shaft is internally connected with the crank shaft of the engine by the chain drive or gear mechanism so when the crank shaft of the engine rotates the cam shaft will start rotating and it will operate the push rod and push rod will operate the rocker arm and rocker arm will operate the exhaust valve okay so this is the basic function then we will go downwards here you can see from here to here this here to here this is known as the cylinder liner okay cylinder liner as the name so cylinder so it is the cylindrical shape in which piston moves up and down so this is the cylinder liner here the arrow marking is indicating next inside the piston sorry inside the cylinder liner piston moves up and down so here this is the piston i have shown the piston rings here so this is the piston okay piston is connected with the piston rod okay so this is the piston rod this one uh, let me write it here okay this is, this is the piston rod okay piston rod piston cylinder liner you can see here the dotted mark i have seen so these are the dotted marks means the, this is the water cooling water so this portion is known as the jacket okay jacket jacket is used to cool the cylinder because when the piston moves inside the cylinder liner it generates some heat so for the cooling purpose we use the jacket a jacket is filled with the water for the cooling purpose okay this water we use for the press water generator okay so <coughs> this is the jacket here you can see some holes are there okay so these holes are known as the ports these ports are used for the scavenging purpose what is the scavenging we will discuss later on so these ports are used for the scavenging so fresh air is going through these ports into the cylinder for the combustion purpose okay now we will go downwards again this is a piston rod and the piston rod is connected to the connecting rod so this is known as the connecting rod we can see here connecting rod is connected to the piston rod and in the short form we also call it cone rod so piston rod is connected to the connecting rod through the cross head okay so this is known as the cross head bearing so from here this is the 
crosshair bearing. These two lines, this one and this one, these are the guides. Okay, and this is the crosshair. Connecting rod is also indicating here. These two lines are the guide. Guide means they are guiding the crosshead in the vertical direction, okay, for the linear motion. When, when the piston moves up and down, it, it should not uh, misalign. So, for that, crosshead is used. Crosshead is connecting to the piston rod and the connecting rod, and the guide are used to keep the piston movement in the vertical direction, okay. So, this connecting rod is connected to the crank shaft. This center one is the crank shaft here. Crank shaft means the main shaft of the diesel engine. So this is the crank shaft. The crank shaft also has some parts, crank wave, crank pin. So connecting rod is connected to the crank pin. Crank pin is a part of the crank shaft. Okay. So this round circle is known as the bottom end bearing. Okay. This bearing is divided in the two halves. This one is known as the crank case relief, crank case relief door. Crank case relief door is used to release the excess pressure from the crank case. Then we'll go on this part. This is the turbocharger. Okay. What is the function of the turbocharger? Turbocharger is used to supply the fresh air into the scavenger space for the combustion purpose. So this is the turbocharger. This is the air cooler. So fresh air coming through this way, okay. So and it's going inside. Then it will go. It will go for the combustion. And the air intake is taken from here. And the turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gas of the diesel engine. So after driving the turbocharger, exhaust gas will go to the for the reuse in the exhaust gas boiler. So this is the exhaust gas going from here. This exhaust wall is provided here. This is the <coughs> these are the parts of the diesel engine. And then we'll go here. This is known as the bed plate. Okay. This is known as the bed plate. Then you can see from here it is go like this. So this is the same like A. So from here to here, this body is known as the A frame bed plate. A frame on the top of the A frame, the cylinder block is mounted. So, this is known as the entablature. Okay, so from here to here is known as the entablature. Entablature means outside body of the engine, not a cylinder liner. Okay, so these are the basic parts of the diesel engine. A lot of parts are there, but here we are looking after some important parts which are most useful for your exams purpose. I hope you all understand these parts. If you have any doubts, go to the comment box and let me know what are the doubts you have.